I take this very seriously. Like I said, I take every holiday season or every change of season seriously. So I'll thrift and I will find stuff all year. Um, and I have, like I said, I have a holiday room, so I will hoard. It's not really a hoard. It's a very organized, beautiful place. I started decorating this year and every year at the end of August. It's not just decorating, it's like putting it all up and feeling the whole season and then doing all the little baking things and making cocktails and like everything, watching the movies. I mean, it's just really getting into the holiday season. How do you take this to the next level? Um, well, number one, I do wanna say I, in my eyes, I'm still an amateur. So to me, I haven't even taken this to the next level. <laughs> like to me, this is level one. Now I imagine by the time I'm 50, I'm gonna be the crazy holiday lady. And I wanna do this for every holiday, but Halloween is my all time favorite. <laughs> Don't be afraid to over decorate. And then my second tip is lights, dude. Lights, lights make all the difference. Like the more lights you add, the more people think that you, oh man, you worked so hard. And it's like, no, really. I mean, it took me like a minute, but then I had to, I, all I did was hang lights and, and it looks so decorated, so. So November 1st is kind of a national holiday for me. That's my, I'm not kidding. It's like in my phone and calendars. I get a reminder every year, go a discount Halloween shopping today. So, but then if you go again, like um, November 15th to th the 30th, everything is like 75 or more percent off. And then I buy more stuff then. I mean, it's a problem. I have a problem, um, but I love it and I'm okay with that. David is my husband. Do you want to be in this at all? No. Okay. <laughs> and my husband at first was a little like, what are you doing? <laughs> the house is transforming all of the time. Does it ever look normal anymore? And I said, I'm sorry, buddy, but you're just going to have to back off. This brings me a lot of joy and a lot of happiness. And this is how the house will be. I, I want like a haunted house people walk through. I mean, I, I envision so much more than this and I will achieve it. My mom actually made this one for me. Uh, she made this one this year and she made this one with pumpkins and bats. I've always been obsessed with themes. I remember being in high school in the high school band. <laughs> I loved being in band in high school. And um, every Friday we would have a game. And so I, I would have my whole season of like nine games or whatever it is. And I would say, this is my pink Friday. This is my green Friday. This is my blue Friday. And that's my orange Friday. And I would like wear colors of that thing that day. Uh, I would like, you know, buy candy that like matched that day. I would just get so into it. And I never lost that feeling of like loving themes. And I mean, holidays are the natural theme, right? I mean, seasons and holidays, like, they're there for you. You just have to grab them. I really honestly do believe that we should celebrate every single day. And this is sort of my quite literal approach into celebrating every day. And I spend all year obsessing about Halloween and planning for it and prepping for it. And then by the time it ends, I'm kind of like, all right, bring on Christmas. Let's try something new. And then by Christmas Eve, I'm like, all right, let's get, let's just start planning for next Halloween. <laughs> I'm ready for next year. How can it be bigger and better? And I literally do that. I have journals. I keep written journals. I keep um, typed uh, notes on my phone of all the holidays, but especially this one. I, pre I prepare for Halloween all year and all the ways I'm going to celebrate and all the ways I'm going to soak in this time of year. And, uh, and the reason is, so every year it just keeps getting better and better. Rock and roll. Happy Halloween! Mm-hmm. <laughs>